Hello and welcome to Medical Shorts by Tutor IMG. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to differentiate between pamphicus vulgaris and bluis pamphicoid. So both of pamphicus vulgaris and bluis pamphicoid, both of these are autoimmune conditions. The pamphicus vulgaris is much more common in younger population, whereas the bluish specific white is much more common in elderly population. The mucous membrane involvement is much more common in patient with pamphigus vulgaris, whereas the mucous membrane involvement is rare in patient with bluish specific white. Oral lesions are common in approximately 70 to 80 percent of the patient with pamphigus vulgaris, whereas in patient with the bluish pamphic white, oral lesion involvement is just 30 percent. In patient with pamphigus vulgaris, antibodies are formed against desmoglyan 3. In patient with bluish pamphic white, antibodies are formed against hemidesmosome. The lesions in patient with pamphigus vulgaris are intraepidermal and they are more superficial lesions. Whereas the lesion in patient with the bluish pamphic white, they are subepidermal and they are more deeper lesions. The blister in patient with pemphigus vulgaris, they are flaccid and they rupture easily. In patient with the bluish pemphig white, the blister are tense and they are firm. The Nikolsky sign is positive in patient with pemphigus vulgaris, whereas in patient with bluish pemphig white, it's negative. Immunofluorescence will show net like IgG, whereas in patient with bluish pemphig white, immunofluorescence will show linear IgG. So keep in mind the pemphigus vulgaris is fatal without the treatment and the blue specific white patient, the prognosis is good and they do well. So this is how you differentiate between these two conditions. So if you like this video, please press the bell icon and subscribe to our channel, Tutor IMG. And thank you very much.